I've been asked to show how I do my color grading on my DJI D-Log footage. So I'm in DaVinci Resolve, um, and I just have this short clip here from Jones Lake. When you go to DJI's website, they do have um, LUTs for you. And like this was shot on the Mavic 3 Cine. So I could just take and drop this DJI D-Log to Rec 709 LUT on it. Um, or they have this, I think they have a Vivid one as well. You could drop this Vivid one on it. And it, it does a really good job. Um, but I want more control over my colors and that. So what I'm going to do is, so I'll make sure this node isn't got anything on it. I'm going to take a color space transform. I'm going to put it on the beginning. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to DJI Decamet. And then I'm going to change this one to the DJI D-Log. And that's our input. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it, this output, to DaVinci Wide Gamut and change it to DaVinci Intermediate. So now anything on this side is going to be working in the DaVinci color space. So I'm going to put a transform on the end as well. And then I'm going to change this to DaVinci Wide Gamut, uh, DaVinci Intermediate. And then I'm going to output to our Rec 709 and then Gamma 2.4. So you know, you, as you can see, this does a really good job at getting it nice and clean and crisp. So this node, label this uh, white balance. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the primary wheels. So there's a couple ways to do the white balance. One is with the primary colors, this eyedropper. If you go to your image, find a spot that is has white in it. Uh, these clouds were fairly close to white. It was an overcast day. But if I select it, it's made the necessary adjustment to correct for white. Now, they weren't quite white, so it's made it a little warm. Uh, I'm going to reset this node. The other way to do it is go into the high dynamic range wheels and use the global and just move this center point here. And I'm just going to move it until I get it to sort of where it was that day. So. That's about the color of the clouds, and that's that's about as correct as the image could be with the way the colors were on that day. Let's let's just select this node, Option S on the Mac. We'll copy a corrector over. Now this one, you know, can be our LUT. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll move this over to the end. And if there's something I wanted to correct in it or change, like if I wanted to change the color of the trees and make them pop a little more, I could, um, and I want to do it this way. So this, pick the green of the trees, puts me here, and then I can then move it ever so slightly to, to make a change in the trees, you know, to make them kind of ultra realistic. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'll reset that node. I'm going to delete that node. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just apply a LUT. I have lots of LUTs in the library. One thing you can do with DaVinci is you can take an image from a movie and create a LUT from that. So if you have like Shot Deck, not sponsored yet, you could use an image in there and then create a LUT from that image. If you'd like to see how that's done, just leave a comment or let me know that you want to see that done. And what I would do now is this LUT right now is set to output at 100%. I'll go to my movie LUTs. And if I go and I scroll over these, they're going to be over the top exaggerated. And you don't, you don't want to do that. What you want to do is you want to apply your LUT at about 20%, you know, 30%. It depends on the LUT, but most LUTs, you, you don't really need that much of it. And now, like, when I go on to these, you can see... Some of them don't work with this image, um, but a lot of them look pretty good. So depending on the look I'm trying to go for for the video, this casino is the one that I used in the original video 
I think it looks pretty good. So it gives us, you know, the right kind of look for this shot. And again, there's a lot of, a lot of white in this because there's the snow, just all these clouds. So it's fairly pale shot. Again, that's it. That's how I color grade my D log from DJI. And again, you can add as many nodes as you want uh, and make as many changes as you want just to see what looks best for what you've shot. Anyways, uh, hope that helps.